Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. I'm just going to go through a few flies now that I've used between April and August and hopefully it should help some people out there catch their first trout. First one I used was a clink hammer, single clink hammer on a 9 foot, 10 foot fluorocarbon leader floating line and I cast it out to rising fish or into the ripples and just let it bounce around. Very distinctive fly, got a nice white top and you can see that at quite a distance. Mm -hmm. And on many occasions, as soon as it hit the water, within four or five seconds, the yeah. trout actually took it. Um, you can fish them as a team, about three foot apart, put one mm -hmm. to the eye and then run a line from the hook shank to the next eye of the fly. After a couple of casts, again, you'll need to put some floatant on it. I put powder on mine and it was very productive. Kept them down to about a size 12. You can go a little bit smaller. They're also good on rivers as well. Nice little fly. You can see it in the water, but the thing is, when the fish are swirling round it, you don't know if they've taken. So rather than doing any false casts, sorry, false strikes, just wait for the end of your line. Watch the end of your line. And if you keep a straight line contact between the fly and the rod tip, you will see the line go in the mess or the swirl or when the fish strike. Sometimes I've had it where they strike, but they don't actually take the fly. They're just bumping it. So I watch for the end of the line. Once the line goes, strike into it. Moving on to a new fly for uh, 2021, the chamois worm works out very well for me. This it actually got me my personal best trout at Pennine, roughly about 14, 15 pound, might have been more, but because I was on a sporting ticket, I couldn't actually take the fish out of the water and weigh it. But it's a case of floating line, nice long leader, sometimes about 14 foot. You can fish the fly or the chamois worm should I say, under a bung, but I just let it drop, cast it out, again take up a slack line from the fly to the rod tip and just let the chamois worm fall through the layers of water to, well, as far down as you can get it, either length of your leader as such. It's got a small 3 mil bead on it so there is a little bit of a weight to it and all I do then is I watch the end of the fly line for any movement whatsoever again a very very small figure of eight just to keep straight line contact between the fly and your rod tip so when you do strike you know have to take up lots and lots of slack or bend or whatever has happened to your fly line in the water again barbless as well uh, because the, sometimes the trout might have time to take it and digest it so I use a barbless hook. Great little fly. Great little fly. Anyway, this is a smaller one of the two. Just on the back end of here is the landing of the larger one. So that is a good one. Get him out. Next one I've been using for the first time is a top hat buzzer. I've got about 20 odd of them. Red, green, ambers. The best thing about them, they've got a foam stalk up by the eye and these just bob around on the water. The best thing is if it's nice and windy and there's a bit of a ripple or a wave, get two or three of these flies, eye to hook shank, cast them out, keep a tight line between the point fly and your rod tip and the trout again. Hit them, don't strike when you see it take the fly. Wait for your fly line to move. And on some cases, the fly line will just be straightened really quickly. Other occasions, it'll take the fly, but it's, been made, it's made a bit of a mess on the water and you think, has it or hasn't it? And your fly line might go slowly. If you keep, if you keep that contact between the point fly and the rod tip, you'll hook. And again, I've had great fun with these. Counted for quite a few fish on the day when a few people around me haven't caught as many. When it's been a bit too warm to fish the reservoirs because of the heat, and we've had some heat over this uh, summer, although it's been very short, I've been down one of my local rivers and got myself into the rough areas and I've simply put 
a fry pan on the end of my leader, about nine foot leader, down to about five pounds, three foot fluorocarbon on the end. And I've put either a small bait fry, silver fry, or a red hot fry. One single fry on some occasions, or two on others, i.e. mixing them up, giving them a variety. And again, hook to eye, hook to eye, three foot between the flies themselves, or the fry themselves. Cast it across the water, fish the first couple of feet of water, then the next couple of foot, then the next couple of foot. And as you can see in this instance I was casting it about two rod lengths and really and just letting the water take the fly and it there was an area in the center of the river where there were some rocks or boulders and there was fish held up behind them and as the fly went over first time didn't take second time it had gone back because I was adding on a foot every time and as it went over the second time or third time I can't exactly remember that ripped small trout took it they're only small small wild brownies but great fun on a light rod and light tackle there you go. There you go. My final fly of the five that I've used for the first time this season is a four mass blob. Usually we fish it on an intermediate line as a point fly attractor on a washing line, but nobody was catching at this time on the water I was fishing. And I'd tried all my other flies in the box. I had one or two takes, but nothing productive. So I put a four mass blob on the end of it. 12 foot leader down to about a 7 pound 3 yeah. foot fluorocarbon tippet cast it out let it hit the water slight movement let it sit there for a split second couple of pulls let it sit tug it couple of more pulls stop tug it couple of more pulls I wasn't even getting to a fifth or sixth pull and then a fish took it and there is a video of this on the channel because somebody actually said to me you're fishing a fab on a floating line I went yeah look catching fish but anyway, that's the end of it all, guys. Hope it's been some use to you. They're a bit crude, some of these flies are, but they do catch fish. And in some cases, caught me my personal best. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I will be out filming next week, and I will see you in the future. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Nice. A nice blue.